Hey, Brian here with worshiptutorials.com. This is how to play the song Rooftops by Jesus Culture. Bit of a throwback. This was from like 2010 from the Come Away album, but it's always been one of my favorite Jesus Culture songs. On the album, this song is in the key of E and it's led by a female. And uh, in my version that I just uploaded to YouTube, it's kind of an acoustic cover version. I did it in the key of A, but I used a G, key of G chords with a capo on the second fret. So that's what I'm gonna teach you in this video. So it's gonna be suited for a male lead. Uh, if you wanna learn how to play it in the key of E, there's a lot of places you can go find the chords for it, but this is how you're gonna play it in this key. Uh, using key of G chords. So two quick things before we get started. One, if you haven't subscribed to us here on YouTube, I would encourage you to do so. We're uploading new stuff all the time, so that way you can stay up to date. And two, if you wanna see uh, how I played this song, that acoustic video I was just talking about, there'll be a link probably up here somewhere, but also down below to go to Worship Tutorials uh, and you can see that video. You can also download chord charts for this song and you get them in every single key, which would let you play it in the key of E along with the album as well. All right, so for this one, the chords we're gonna use are G, D, E minor, C, and there's an A minor as well. Just those five chords, pretty simple. Uh, strumming patterns, there's two ways you can go on this one. What I like to do is just down strum. So it's four, four time, about 100 B, well, it is exactly 100 BPM on the album. Uh, so I like to do this down strum thing. So one and two and three and four and. To make this interesting though, you're gonna wanna emphasize uh, certain notes to kind of create a rhythmic pattern. I like to do it like uh, this, at least during the intro and verses. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The one, the and of the two and the four. Another strumming pattern you can use on this, but you wanna be careful because it can get a little busy in this song, it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. I'll slow it down. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Now on my acoustic version, I did a finger picking thing and I'll show you that real quick. A lot of people approach finger picking a little differently. What I like to do is take my pinky and I sort of just plant it on the pick guard. That's what I've always done. Uh, it kind of anchors my hand. My thumb will then pluck the bass note and my uh, one, two, and three fingers will pluck the treble notes or the, the, uh, the high strings on the guitar. And then I just create a pattern. So if I tell you, uh, for example, this pattern is gonna be two, one, thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one, two, one, thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one. That's just kind of what I do. And you can get your fingers to go on autopilot. You can sing on top of it. Again, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, one, thumb, two, one, thumb, two, one. Then you just pick through that. So this would be like the verse progression. And it's a little more difficult to sing on top of this or to talk on top of it. See, I just messed up right there when I was trying to talk. But when you practice it enough, you'll get it down. For this video, I'm just gonna strum and the, let's just do the intro and the verse uh, together. So the intro is just E minor for two measures to C for two measures. Do it again, E minor, the guitar part's gone. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, then you get to the verse, E minor, here I am before you, D, falling in love and seeking your truth, C, knowing that your perfect grace, back to D, has brought me to this place. E minor, because of you I freely live, to D, my life to you, O oh God, I give. A minor, so I stand before you, God, E minor, I G, lift my voice, cause you D, set me free, so I shall. And then you're into the chorus. Okay, so let's play that intro. I'll just play the intro progression once and then verse. E minor, C. 
verse. Here I am before you, falling in love and seeking your truth, knowing that your perfect grace has brought me to this place. Because of you I freely live my life to you, oh God, I give. So I stand before you, God. I lift my voice because you set me free. Then the chorus goes G, so I shout out your name from the D. Rooftops I proclaim that I am E minor, yours. I am C, yours. Then at the end of the first verse, on, or sorry, this is the chorus, not the verse. The end of the first chorus only, I am yours, and then they play an A minor and go back into the verse. You don't ever do that after the first chorus, but in the first chorus, that's what they do on the album. Okay, so uh, let's play it. I lift my voice would be G. Because you set me free. Here's the chorus. So I shout out your name From the rooftops I proclaim That I am yours I am yours All the good you've done for me I lift up my hands I think it's hands, yep, my hands uh, so second verse is the same progression as the first verse. When you hit the second chorus, uh, it's kind of a double thing. You, you, well, the first chorus you can think of as half of the chorus. So I G, shout out your name from the D. Rooftops, I proclaim that I am E minor, yours. I am C, yours. And G, all that I am, I place D into your loving hands. For I am E minor, yours. I am C, yours. Then we hit the bridge, and the bridge goes like this. Here I am, G, I stand with arms wide open to the E minor one, the sun, the everlasting God, C. The everlasting God is A minor. And then it repeats that, I think it's the same. Here I am, I stand with arms wide open to the E minor one, the sun, the everlasting God, C. The everlasting God, A minor. Okay, so when you come out of the chorus, I'll just sing the second chorus all the way through and show you how the double chorus works, or the full chorus, into the bridge. So I shout out your name from the rooftops I proclaim that I am yours, oh I am yours. Back to G, and all that I am, I place into your loving hands, for I album, uh, there's a lot of song left. This is a long uh, arrangement of this song. I believe what they do is an instrumental section for a while that is like uh, the chorus. 
-hmm. they just play, I think they played a couple times through. Then they go back into the chorus and back into the bridge and they end it. Uh, really what you can do here is whatever would work best in your context. So um, if you like to play like six minute long, seven minute long versions of the songs uh, and, and the people in your church respond well to that, then you can just draw it out. If you like to though, you can shorten it down a little bit, which is probably what I would do in most contexts. Uh, maybe sing the, uh, the bridge and then a solo section and a chorus and kind of end it there. Uh, but you can really do whatever you want. Those are the song sections, though, and sort of how they can all fit together. Uh, really, it's a pretty simple song, and like I said, you can you can arrange it whatever works best for you. Again, hit the link below to go to Worship Tutorials where you can see the uh, the acoustic version, the cover song that uh, that I did on this one, and get chord charts and everything that you need. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. Remember to subscribe. You can do that up here, I think. You can go down here to the website. You can go over here and see more videos of some kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.